conditions. Winds are not too strong. They're just coming in between 5 and 10 miles per hour. So it's a 7 mile per hour wind in Dayton, but it certainly makes it feel colder. Our single digit wind chills are pretty much going to be possible area wide this morning. Feeling like 8 in Versailles feels like 3 in Springfield and it feels like 4 degrees at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. If you're standing out in that light breeze, kids heading to the bus stop this morning again want their warmest gear. We'll have temperatures in the teens, single digit wind chills, lots of clouds to start the day, slight chance of a few flurries coming through under that cloud deck. That'll be a possibility through about late morning. But coming home from school, we will see more sunshine. It's still going to be cold, though. It'll look nice out there. Oh, it'll be nice and bright, but a temperature of just 24 degrees, still running below normal. And that's a trend that really looks like it's going to continue right on into the weekend. High is Saturday and Sunday, both just near 30 degrees. That normal high 37 will come closer to it Monday. That'll be our first day above freezing since the middle part of this week. And then we'll actually crash back behind it Wednesday of next week. We're down to 22 for a high little recovery after that, but we stay at or just below normal for a good stretch of days. Uh, cold enough for some snow and again, just a few flurries out there this morning. We're looking at that deficit just grow and in terms of our seasonal snow, we are more than eight inches, eight and a half inches below normal on snowfall. We've only picked up 1.40. We've had most of our precipitation in liquid form, so we have a surplus there. Last year at this time, we had over seven inches of snow, so we're definitely lacking in the snow department and all that we have out there this morning is some flurries back towards Preble County, Butler County, and Warren County. So uh, out of this cloud deck at any point today, we could have some of those flurries working through, but we do expect some increasing afternoon sunshine. As future track shows, clouds kind of hanging around through late morning or lunchtime, and then we'll get into some sun for the mid to late afternoon hours coming home. Overnight looks mostly clear, but clouds increase on Saturday. So we do get back to mostly cloudy conditions, but it will be a dry day. It's not until Sunday that a clipper system moving in will bring in the next chance for snow, and we could see some light accumulation with that. Right now it looks like anywhere from one to two inches on average, and there could be some isolated spots that even get close to three inches. Still in question the track of this system, so we'll continue to update that forecast right on through the weekend. Morning clouds and flurries today, otherwise afternoon sun. It's still going to be cold with a high of 24. Back down to 10 overnight. It'll be mostly clear and then increasing clouds and breezy on Saturday. It'll be a dry day with a high of 30. Potential for snow returns on Sunday. Still cold. Monday will pop above freezing for the first time in a while, but another system Tuesday brings in another push of cold air.